So what are the confidence building strategies? Basically, these are pre-interview, which will give you the confidence as we discuss. So if you see, let me make it slightly bigger. The first confidence building strategy, which you should take care of is logistics. The most important one, but sometimes overlooked as well. Logistics will cover that. Make sure you have a very strong internet connection. This is if you are doing a Skype interview or a Zoom interview or a Microsoft Teams interview or a Google Meet interview, whatever be the technology, but you should have a very strong internet connection and your camera and audio should be working. Please make sure of that before the interview. I would say one day before the interview, make sure these things are working. Also make sure they are fully charged. Sometimes we forget to charge our laptop the night before. So don't forget to charge your laptops. Don't forget to charge all your devices, which you will be using during the interview. Please find a quiet location. So if you are taking an interview from your home or from a remote location, please find a quiet location so that all the disturbances around you can be avoided and you won't be interrupted unnecessarily. Very important. Like for me, uh, I give you my personal example. I have two kids, right? So when I go for an interview, either am I appearing for an interview or I'm taking an interview, I instruct my wife and my kids to be, to be maybe uh, be in the other room and I lock myself in, in my office room and I give them uh, instructions. Uh, I mean, of course, you cannot give instructions to your wife. It's the other way around. But I request them to, uh, you know, not make any noise. So you should do the same thing, basically. Keep your phone on silent mode. So sometimes we forget to put our phone on silent mode. Don't do that. Be, be, be sure that you have at least put it on silent or vibration mode. Uh, so that during the interview, if someone is calling you, they don't know you are taking an interview. So they will call you not their fault, but uh, you should not be disturbed by that. So please make sure the phone is on silent. Watch your background during the Teams or Zoom interview. So if you are in person, it's fine. These some of some of the points will not apply at all. But if this is more relevant for remote interviews, which is becoming common and common every day. So watch your background during your Teams and Zoom interview. Sometimes, you know, um, your kids will come. They will not make any noise, but they want something from your room. So they will just come and get it and which can be a distraction for the interviewer. So either you put a background from the technology, like from the Google Meet, you have a lot of backgrounds. From uh, Microsoft Teams, you will have a lot of backgrounds which you can put, which can hide your actual background in your room or in your office or wherever you're taking the remote interview from. So please use that and make sure that there are no distractions. Arrive early, yes, the most important point. Arrive early in the interview. 30 minutes before for an in-person and five minutes, at least five minutes early for a video conferencing. This is very important. So this covers the logistics part. Next comes the researching. Please, please, please. I cannot emphasize this point anymore. Uh, you know, research the company. So if you are applying for, say, for example, PepsiCo or Coca-Cola or some other company, there are a lot of companies, right? These days in technology, SAP, especially SAP, there are a lot of Fortune 500 clients. Please research about them. Uh, you can do a simple Google search or if you have anyone working in that company from LinkedIn, you can get that. If you have anyone working in the company, please get in touch with them. Ask about the company, about the culture, what kind of projects they have, what kind of work they are uh, you know, taking on and things like that. This can also help you in the job referral. So if you have someone in your network who is already working in the company, try to reach out to them if possible. It might not be possible every time, but if possible, reach out to them and get those valuable information. Because if an interviewer asks you, that uh, uh, you know what motivates to join our company then these these inputs which you got from for the company will go a long way visit their website that's one of the best places and get to know about their products and services a little bit and then search about the social media post these days companies are very very active on linkedin facebook twitter so go on those social media posts for those companies and see what they are posting about 
what are the recent trends in that company again this information will help you during the questions that okay what motivates you to join us or what do you know about the company or do you know anything about us so all those questions can be very very well answered if you have done your research then researching the position again very important read the job description multiple times so if it's a contract role or if it's a permanent role does not matter please read the job description and highlight those keywords like i have highlighted here this is for a bw for hana consultant remote it's a remote role so you don't have to travel so that's great it's a 9 month contract so if you are ready to take you know short term contracts uh, then this is for you otherwise you can ask that will it will it be extended or not then what are they expecting they expect you to know bw for hana they expect you to know the experience in hana studio the new web ide you should be experienced in designing extraction and reporting all the three areas and you should have some abap programming knowledge as well so they expect you to be competent in all the three so you can you know do your preparation for all the three areas you can brush up your abap programming so based on the job description it is very important that you extract the keywords and prepare accordingly watch a couple of youtube videos these days there is video for everything on all the technical topics including sap uh, you you take sac or you take bw for hana you take data sphere you take sac planning so for everything you will have a youtube video these days we have lost our patience to read uh, you know a 10 page or a 20 page or a 100 page uh, material but we have a patience to watch a youtube video if it's interesting so go to youtube and read about the subject matter uh, subject matter and get that information if possible get a server there is a trial server for everything now sac has a trial server bw for hana has a trial server data sphere has a trial server so all the new sac products uh, they all have a trial server for hands on get that if you have enough time if you don't have enough time don't worry but if you have time then get the server and then do some hands on as well and this is very very useful at least for me it proved to be immensely useful learning journeys sap has published they have done a lot of hard work in preparing those learning journeys learning journey is basically a customer scenario they will give you a customer scenario and then they will ask you to do step by step step number 1 you load the data step number 2 you create the model step number 3 you create the story so step by step they have given learning journeys on almost every area in sap so i have given the link so go through that there are a lot of learning journeys and there is a search option there as well so you can go to the learning journeys and then do your hands on as well next we come to the attire be very very cognizant of what you are wearing during the interview very important there are two options either you can go full on professional attire or you can go business casual as well but business casual not casual casual so i have given you the there are certain um, you know guidelines for colors as well don't wear body colors don't wear too much jewelry for 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 girls uh, be be business casual or be professional if you are wearing a t-shirt it has to be a collared t-shirt don't wear a round neck t-shirt that's casual casual uh, if you have to wear a t-shirt if you don't have you know a good shirt uh, and 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 you are fond of t-shirts yes go for it no problem in that but it should be professional it should not be too gaudy Uh, the color should be decent maybe white or blue or gray uh things like that dark colors are preferred and collared very very important it has to be collared so that's what is called a business casual that has to be done and then of course you know your overall get up should be presentable then your resume and references they will go through your resume um so keep a copy handy print print out your resume if possible and keep it handy go through your resume one more time just before the interview so that you know what you have put on the interview sometimes we forget what we have put and suddenly if there's a question oh this you have mentioned in your interview can you please elaborate a little bit and you are lost oh i forgot that i have put this as well and i forgot to research on that so those things should not come as a surprise to you so have a print out of the resume keep it handy in front of you 
and go through that once uh, thoroughly before the interview. Trust me guys, it might seem a little tedious and boring task, but it goes a long way because you know exactly what you have put and you can justify and defend those points. And then just before the interview, have a good night's sleep. Don't uh, go preparing for the interview and do a night out or don't sleep late in the night because then the next morning you will have lethargy, you will have the tiredness in your body language. So that should not be shown in, in the interview. So have a rested and relaxed night just before, one day before, so that for the interview you are fresh and you are ready. So those were some confidence building strategies. If you follow these, these are very small things but sometimes overlook things. If you do this diligently, I can promise you, you are going to be much better prepared for an interview.